Right, here we go. Head, well, head and face and all that kind of like So this thing up here, um, it's kind of round. Boop. So I'm going to start, oddly enough, with the box as usual. Because I want quads, so I can't use a sphere and it wants to be round. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go mesh, smooth, to apply, close, don't move, select move, bring it way up here somewhere. Okay, let's um, come in this front view. Let's go F. Right, so evidently the wrong size. So R to scale and make it pretty much right ish. Um, straight on, I could probably go. Where it wants to be a bit more like what? Fash. Let's have a look in the side view. Boom, this view. F. Right, so we're we kind of got different. I I wonder, I'm looking at the kind of lining up now, so I think um quite frankly the the drawings probably don't match up that well. So anyway, right, vertex. Um, I'm just going to nudge it around to get curves a bit more like the actual drawing. So we control Z, mess that one up. So let's just do that. Da da da. Generally, I think this whole top bit here, we're going to need another line, I think. So, yeah, I mean, right. We don't want to be quite up there, because that would be his hat. And in fact, that line, if I go edge, double click on that one, I go R, 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 I can level that one, I go R, R, and do level that one as well. Um, so it gives us slightly better um, base mesh to work with. Da, da, da. I think that might have to that up a little bit. We could even straighten that one and that one up as well. Make them front to backy, but they'll be fine. We'll see how. Right, I'll come that way and have a look at what we got. We could work with the eyes like that, but what I think I'll do, yeah, because if I have a look, this if I bring that down, then it's not going to match up with the other drawing. So I think I'm going to average somewhere between the two of it. Let's bring that just under the hat there. This, however, that I mean, what I could do with this is if I want to do one side and one side, I can go symmetry here. Symmetry. So I can do that, whatever I do on one side, and on the other side as well. But that can lead to confusion later when you kind of go, why is that happening? I can't believe that that's happening. And you kind of go, oh, that's because I've told it to happen. But I'm going to bring them down below the eyes. Go, oh, oh, I'm going to bring it in a little bit there. I'll check the side view, and then I'm going to go insert edge loop, hold the control key, and put one in the middle of the eyes. One just above the eyes. There. And in fact, I'm, I just I want to model half for now, so I'm just going to go select, and go for face, get rid of these, delete that. Because I think what I want to do, I want to get that more in the middle of the, the eyes there. So I'm going to go. Vertex, I'm going to get all of these W's, maybe more over there, like that. And then these ones, including that one, that one. There we go. Maybe in a little bit. Right, I'm going to work with those there to make the eyes. How does that look? That doesn't look too bad. 
That's a little bit pushed into the front, but then again, it will be because that's his eyes. And yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not too terrible. That looks a little bit like a chin down there. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Okay. So to start going on the eyes, I'm going to go face. Get that one. Shit. That one. That one. And that one. So how does that look? In perspective, you just make sure you got the right one. Okay, we're there. This whole front of the face block could do with being flattened a little bit. Wonder what would happen if I did that. Da, da, da. If I got this stuff, go vertex with all this stuff, and go, oh, let's just make that a little bit flatter like that. Go W. I can move these guys up to there, and up to there a little bit. That still looks fine, that looks okay. And get away with that one, get that one, move that back up, and that back a little bit, and then drifted off the line. Ba ba boom. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So back to face mode. Oh, it's still selected, that's kind of handy there. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude. But I'm just going to use the scale tool and scale in a little bit. Oop, there. And I'm going to use the circularize tool Oop, to do that. And then you go, oh my god, that's you know, weird and it's got crossovers and bits and pieces. But I just wanted the circle. And I want it to be fronty backy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, oh, let's scale it front to back. What does that look like? Yeah, that doesn't look quite a circuit anymore. I could do that. E. Rotate it a little bit. And I'm going to go, oh, I was going to scale it all down. So it's just inside the other um, polygons. And I'm just going to try and circularize it again. So I'm going to go to a weird angle here. Yes. I'm rather than um, scaling it flat, I'm just going to rotate that. And you can see that it's further back than it needs to be. W. So if I go W, it wants to be around there. I'm going to F. I'm going to E. I'll rotate it. Got the w. I'm going to move it up because that says it wants to be a different place. But actually, in this view, yeah, we're all over the place. So let's line up with that one. And make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to come in this view and kind of go, all right, so, you know, things aren't quite where we want them to be. So I'm going to get that one, move it across, I'm going to move it up, and then I'm going to rotate around just to see where that is. You can kind of right, move that forward a little bit. And this one, move it down, move it forward a little bit. Move it across a little bit. I think the whole thing is a little bit far forward. Maybe we can go in a little bit with Ooh. although it's not too bad there, does it? I think. I might go with that. What's the three look like? It's mid. A bit weird. Never mind, let's go. Right, one. So I'm going to extrude again. Um, so this is, again, it's quite a cartoony face. So I'm going to go extrude. And I'm going to scale in a bit. Circularize, keep it round. And then um, I'm going to go. Um, Extrude again, but this time we're going to go back into the head a bit. G, do that again, go a bit further back into the head. G, do that again. Uh, a tiny little bit further, and R to scale it down. So it should be a bit like an eye socket. And actually, what I'll do is I'll um, 
hold the control key. So I'm using the multi cut tool, hold the control key, put another line of edge line, line of edge loops in there. Go Q to select, onto edge, double click, R to scale. And then I'll do that and go, go outwards a bit with it. We're not making an eye, this is just an eye socket, but I'm just kind of roughing it out. Okay, cool. And I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna a W, move them forward a little bit. Um, I could pull another edge loop in there, go R. Oh, I want to move that. So on a more traditional head, you'd be building your eyelids here, right? I'm going to go multi cut tool. I'm going to go there, hold the control key, do that, and then Q to select W to move. I'm going to move those forward a little bit. That's just the edge of the eye. Right. So you know when you go for something a little bit more complex, may, maybe then that eye would be. Um, You'd grow eye eyelids to it, and then you would you would use morph targets to move them over the eye. But for this, you've got a round eye thing there, which is not too bad. But I'll probably move this corner back a little bit because it's just looking a little bit odd. So one, let's see. let's get these vertices over here. Corner of it. Move those back a little bit. Just make that look slightly less weird. In fact, actually, the whole thing shift. So shift greater than is add to that selection. So I can just select the eye socket out there. And despite what it says inside the eye, I'm going to bring that back. There we go, cool. Object A. Looking slightly weird. Three. Yeah, okay. One. Okay, to make the. Actually, let's do his ear first. I think his ear comes out back here somewhere. Um, so, hang on. Face. That one. That one. That one. That one. This is a weird kind of Wallace and Gromit kind of ear. So, if I go extrude and then scale. And I can scale that down somewhere like that. Where does it happen on the drawings? F. Oh, there, there you go. It happens there on the drawings, which is not too bad. So if I go circularize, poof, like that, and go E to rotate, I can rotate that background a bit like that. And come and have a look at it in the perspective view. Uh, it doesn't look too terrible. Although it does go in a bit, doesn't it? See that there? If I rotate that like that, W, move it out a bit. There you go. And then all we've got to do is take that vertex there, that one underneath it, and move it back in a bit. There we go. That doesn't look too, too angry now. Right, face. Right, extrude again. Go scale, come in, circularize it. And then move it out. Check the drawings. Not that drawing, this drawing. Okay, we are kind of the two drawings are a little bit misaligned. I know that because we've we've discovered that earlier. Move it out a bit more. Can I extrude again. Scale, scaly, scaly. W E W E. Right. Okay, so I think I'm just going to rough the rest of it out. So if I go extrude, go, psh, there's the ear. You're going to go, seriously, that's an ear? Well, I'm kind of, it's on its way. Right, so that, that looks kind of weird there. So um, if I go vertex, vertices, go W, take that one out. That one, hang on, shift that one, 
shift select those ones. So then the, the other ones, the ones in between, I'm going to move those back a bit. Right, so that will round the end of the ear off. So I'll go W. No, I'm going to go 3. There you go. So that rounds the end of the ear off. Go 1. So I want to make an ear opening somewhere in here. So I'm going to put in one, two edge loops, I think. And multi cut. So control, one there, one there. Um, and then select and move that one, move that one that way a bit. But not as far in. Oh, actually, I'm going to put another one in the middle. There we go. Control that one. So, oh, select and scale, but edge. So, if I get those ones, make the ones a little bit bigger. Get those ones, make those bigger, bigger. Get those ones, and make them a bit bigger. Then we've got that kind of roundy shape there. And then, I can go face and get all of these. Shift that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That one, that one, go extrude and then scale. I think get a bit odd, but let's get the vertex and mash them around a bit. Right, W, move you into the middle somewhere, move you into the middle somewhere. That one wants to go out towards the end there. That will make that shape. That goes up, goes down. So all I'm doing is trying to make a, an even-ish edge around it. That one goes back into the head. That one goes back into the head. Was that right? Too shabby. Boom. Right, so then back to face. And then we can go extrude, come in a little bit, and then go back a bit, extrude again, back. All you've got to do is not push it through the back of the ear. That. Boom, 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 boom. Is that enough? If I hit three, yeah, there you go. It's kind of Wallace and Gromit kind of ear, isn't it? It kind of matches the drawing, although I think it should be wider in the middle. So if I go vertex and get... I do this as a wireframe, so I hit 4. I can see that edge loop there and go R. In fact, it might be better with the edge loops, actually. So that one. That one. Uh, bitty. Was that all right? Oh, I don't know. Smooth surface looks like that. Against the drawing, looks like it's not a million miles away from the drawing. And, you know, even that one is close. So, that. Um, big history. Let's, let's, let's ditch that history. Boom. Right, if I want to make a nose, I'm going to have to mirror that. So that's that. I'm going to freeze transforms to clean it up. Go mesh, mirror. There we've got that. So now, boom, front view. Nose is in there somewhere. So if I go face, you, 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 and you, then I can go. Extrude, scale to around there, and then I'm going to circularize. Oh, it goes all twisted and weird. That's not good, is it? Let's go. Boom, boom. Doing this one. F, E to rotate. And then this is where you are going to have to cut the head in half and then sort of like even up the edge vertices because this goes right down the middle. Okay, W, down a bit. Now, just so you're not 
banging those birds. See, it's very close to getting them. I'm going to take that one down. I'm going to hope that's the one at the front. Yes, it is. Might even take that one up a little bit. Certainly might take that back a little bit. Um, right. Face. Um, weird little snub nose thing. Boom. Ooh. There. So if I go forward and then rotate that a little bit. Right. Oh, so I sort of could do with lining the drawings up because it's a lot easier to work if they are lined up. So then we've got extrude forward. Because it looks perfect in this one. So if I go R and just scale that front bit down a little bit. I'm just going to take it off and make sure it's still circular. Dump. Looks very weird. Right, if you go three, it will really smooth off there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick in an edge loop around here. Control. Like that. That one. Poly cut. Right, okay. Object mode. Delete history. Right. Multi cut tool. Control. No, am I got the wrong right tool there? Control Z. Oh, there it is. Finally. Sometimes it confuses me. Right, W. Um, vertex. That one at the end there. Out a bit. Right. So I can see the shape of the nose, it's just in the wrong place. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go image plane 3, which one's 3? That one, 2, that one. Lovely. I'm going to move that image plane until it's where the nose is supposed to be. There we go. Um, da -da. Put the cube on there, yeah. Ta Right, the nose is too big. Vertices, all of these. Is that all nose? That's all nose, isn't it? Oh. W. Right, those ones I'm going to bring down. Those ones there and those ones there. Those are the ones that are going to round off the nose. I'm going to bring those back. And yeah, all of this stuff. And I'm going to go E, then I'll rotate it upwards. I'm going to go R, shrink it downwards, and then I'm going to go W and stick it kind of there ish. Get those ones and move that one. Move that one, put it up there. And then I'm suggesting myself that I might want to put another edge loop there. So there. Control there. I'm going to put that in there so I can go select and move and get these two, bring them down a bit and make that a little bit more snubby up. Get those two and bring them down, which will round out the bottom of the nose there a bit. This one can come in a bit, this one can come out a little bit. And so now if I go three and go object mode, it's got a cute little pre-lying Pinocchio nose. Yay! Right, head. Lovely. Brilliant. Um, so first stage and next bit is to get that bit. Shift that bit. Well, before I do anything else, I mean that one's mirrored, so I'm gonna get rid of to me that one's history. That one that one's got some bits and pieces. Delete that guy's history. Get that one. Shift select that one. Combine them. Right, so they're the same object now. Oh, how necessary that was. I'm going to make a cylinder. 
There we go. So this is going to be the neck. Just because I want it to be a proper 2B thing. So A around. No caps. Um, a radius of 0.2. Andrew, that's how big the, th the finger was. Let's put that in up. 0.4. Well, that looks a bit big. 0.3. 0.3. Um, and a height of 1. Select move W. Up it goes. Right, into the side view. F to find it. It does look a bit bigger than that. I'm going to go back to 0.25 on the right. 0.25, there we go. Um, and a height, 0.6. Yeah, there we go. So E to rotate, move it around, W to put it in position. So around there, so you can see there's going to be two polys there and something, something there. Will happen. So shift select that and then combine. Right, so yeah, one. That have lost the texture. No, no, still got Lambert one on everything, that's fine. Right, so initially face that one, delete, get rid of that. That one, shift, that one, shift, that one, shift, that one, delete. Oh, actually, rather than that, let's do something that's um, extrude. Oop. Scale. Circularize. Check whether that's straight front to back. Yeah, look at that, pretty much. Uh, and then delete, ha, huh. because then you can go, oh, did I delete that top face? Yes, I did. So then you can go edge, double click, shift, double click, and then go bridge, 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 bridge. bridge. And I'm going to go, where it says divisions, I'm going to add a division in there. Oh, look, and then it goes, I don't know what my surface. <laughs> edge. Oh. That seems to be, I mean, although I've seen it before on multiple other versions of Maya, it seems to be something that's particularly prevalent in this 2003, 2023, not 2003, I'm going back a little bit. If I go object mode and then go, assign existing material, Lambert 1, it kind of goes, yeah, I know what that is. What are you talking about? You don't know what texture it is. Right here, now my drawings. In a completely different place. I'm going to just get that one there, that one there, smooth that off a little bit. You get this one, we'll put it more like there, this one more like there, that one more like there, that one a bit more like there. Something, something a little bit like that. What does that look like? If I go three, oh, that's not too bad. It's got a neck, neck works, that's fine. Okay, where are we going to dock it to? I think it's going to have to be these up here. One. Not quite in the right place. Um, be alright though. Won't it? Um, it's difficult to see that one. Looks like it needs to come a lot further forward. So if I go down forward with that, see in this view it's a bit awkward because they're kind of hands really in the way. So there's that one that's just beneath it. So if I do that and then do that, then is it those two? Yeah, they're more like that. And that guy wants to go. More like that, but yeah, there we go. Face. Let's just have a look at them. See, that's not too bad. Those side ones want to go out a bit. I could go crazy and just go scale it out. That will do. 
So if I go extrude a little bit, that blue one, and I can go scale it in a little bit. Go Q to select and circularize. I don't know, that goes all over the place. Uh, da, da, da. E to rotate. Here's the body, isn't it? I was going to say, because the head's not part of it. And well, yeah, I've not docked it onto the head yet. It's fine. Right, I'm going to do that. Do something symmetrical. What's happened there? Ew, I must have... What have I done with that? How far under is that? That one. Hmm. It's weird things. Um, if I go object X, it does get me the one on the other side. That's good. Space bar. I'll move those out. Yeah, let's turn that back off again. It does confuse issues if you Q to select to get rid of the gizmo so I can see what I'm doing. Those ones. I'm gonna have to go and restrain these up again there. Ta and leave them north of it. There we go. I'm just gonna delete them. Delete. There we go. There's going to be like a symmetry that I'm going to have to delete half of it and mirror it again and try and do the midline, but never mind. So if I go edge and double click that and then shift double click that and I go bridge, it doesn't bridge. Why doesn't it bridge? Why hasn't it done? Oh, it's because it's not gone all the way around. Oh, got the wrong things. Double click, double click. Oh. Oh, you know what that is? It's because there's a face in the bottom. Double click there, shift, double click there, and then bridge. There you go. Cool. So now we want to make that kind of polo neck thing. So I'm going to get the edge cut thing. Hold the control key. And then I'm going to cut a loop there. Um, and so I'll select these ones. Go R. Bring him in a bit and make his polo neck out of here. If I go face, get that one, shift that one, shift, shift that one, shift that one, and then F, which means we can rotate around the selection. There we go, shift that one, that one, that one, shift that one. There we go. And then we can extrude those like so. Go R. Bring them in and just have a look at that compared to the drawing. Which they're a bit high. But we can we can mash that, can't we? Because we can go edge, get that one, go W. Move that down backwards a little bit. And it's that one. So we can move that to there. That one is the inside of it, and that means that one there is the neck. So that one wants to be kind of there-ish. So what does that look like? So that looks like that. It's a bit weird because that's a bit too far forward, so let's move that back. It's all a bit pulled around here, but we can move 
these gradually fill the board, I think. So what I do, I think there, is activate that object X symmetry. And move that one down and back a little bit. And then I'm just gonna try and bring these gradually so they feed steadily into the arm like that. I might just move this bit forward a little bit, and that bit forward a little bit, and that bit forward a little bit, and then it means that the arm flows into the shoulder just that little bit more easily. So, and then when we go three, then we've got a little polo neck. And we've got the neck done and everything, and that's kind of cool. Yay, so he's on his way. Right, so before we do anything else, I'm going to take the object X off. I'm going to go to object mode. I'm going to delete his history, freeze transformed, and go file, save scene. And then we're going to model his eyes and his hat in the next one. Okay. Right, see you in the next one.